A researcher claims that less than 40% of U.S. cell phone owners use their phone for most of their online browsing. We have a random sample of 100 adults. 31% say that they use their phone for most of their online browsing. At 1% level of significance, is there enough evidence to support these researcher claims or not? We're going to apply two methods using projection region, and then we're going to move and use p-value. For the rejection region, first you need to check to see if np is more than equals to q5 and nq is more than equals to 5. So since n is 100, you have 100 adults in this survey, and the probability of successful population is guessed to be 40%. We're going to multiply these two. 100 times 40% is 40, so we're good with the first one. N times Q, Q is the probability of, of failure for the population. One one is 40% is 60%. So 100 times 60% is 60. We're good with both of these numbers. Now, let us identify the null and alternative hypothesis. Note that the keyword given to you is claim that less than. Since you have less than, it means that it is your alternative hypothesis. Alternative hypothesis says, I'm guessing that the population proportion is less than 40%. This is your claim, and this is your alternative hypothesis. Because of that, you have a left out test. You can easily build the null, which is the opposite. So it says, hey, the proportion, population proportion, is more than or equals to 40%. Now that we state the null and alternative hypothesis, we identify alpha, which is 1%. We use alpha and the fact that it's a left out test to find Z value. Z is negative 2.33. Let me show you how to use a calculator to find this Z. So let us go to the calculator and let me share the screen with you and show you how to use your calculator to find Z. So first of all, you need to go to second, then wars. And since here you have the area and you want to try to find Z, the function is inverse norm. The area is 1%, so point. 0, 1. Why? Because your alpha is 1%. And here you have a left out test. Mean is 0, standard deviation is 1, and it's a left out test. So go to paste and do the calculation. And as you can see, it is negative 2.326. Or basically, you can say that it is negative 2.33. This is your z sub 0, which is the z score related to the area to the left out side. Very good. Now that we found Z sub zero, we can identify the rejection region. Any number less than negative 2.33 is in the rejection region. So we need to find out standardized the statistic to decide if that number is inside the rejection region or not. This Z is P hat minus P. P hat is the probability of success in the sample, which is 31%. 31% minus 40% divided by square root of P times Q. P is for the population, guest population. This is our education, educated guess about population. So 31% minus 40% divided by P is 40%. Q is 60% divided by 100. This number round to two decimal places is negative 1.84. But Comparing these two numbers, negative 1.84 is not less than this number. It's larger than this number. So it means that your standardized test statistic is outside the rejection region. But what's the meaning of that? Since Z is outside the rejection region, you're going to say that, hey, I fail to reject the null hypothesis or we support the null hypothesis. When you support null, it means that you reject alternative. In this example, claim and alternative are the same thing. So we are rejecting 
the researchers claim. There is not enough evidence and 1% level of significance to support the claim that less than 40% of US cell phone owners use their phone for most of their online browsing. Now, some of you might say, hey, why we don't use p-value? Let me show you how to use p-value to do the computation. First of all, the very first steps are the same. We check to see if NP is more than or equals to five, NQ is more than or equals to five, and then you identify the null and alternative hypothesis. You find p-value, if it's a left L test, the p-value is exactly the area to the left-hand side of your standardized test statistic. But take a look. Let me show you how to use your calculator to find that p-value. Very good. So let me share the screen with you. For a hypothesis test for a population proportion, you're going to go to stat, then go to tests, and then you're going to find one proportion z test. This is one sample. So you have one proportion z test. The probability of success for population is 40%. X is the number of positive answers or yeses in the sample. 31%, it means that 31 out of 100. The sample is 100, so you have 31 positive or successes. And the sample size is 100, and it's a left tail test. Why is that? Because you have your claim as alternative hypothesis less than, so you have a left tail test. So since it's the left tail test, you're going to select the left hand side then go to the calculate and do the calculation. When you do the calculation, the standardized test statistic is negative 1.84. P-value related to this Z is about 3%. 3% is more than 1%. So since 3% is more than 1%, you're going to say that, hey, we failed to reject the null hypothesis or you support the null. When you support the null, it means that you reject the alternative hypothesis or you reject the claim. 